Hey guys, it's me Tara. Welcome back to my second channel. Welcome back to the live stream. Everyone say hi to YouTube. Today on this live stream, we are currently watching music for a sushi restaurant in the background. One of my favorite Harry Styles music videos. I just thought it'd be fun to have this playing because today we are going to talk about boys and eat ice cream because I like to eat my feelings. That's just me. And I'm in an ice cream mood. Uh, and I'm also wearing my I Heart Skater Boys shirt because why not? Because I do, who doesn't? Personally, I like chocolate ice cream. What I do like to do is I like to eat Neapolitan. So I like to do strawberry, vanilla, and chocolate. But I don't like buying Neapolitan. I like to like mix them myself because I feel like, and hear me out, I feel like the grocery stores are tricking us. This is my conspiracy theory. I feel like the grocery stores are tricking us and they're toning down the freaking flavors in a Neapolitan. So I usually mix my own. I don't think I have strawberry and vanilla, but I am and I will eat my chocolate ass cream. I should have taken it out before this freaking Twitch stream. Ow! I should have had it freaking melt before. I'm such an idiot. All right. Here we go, we're gonna leave it out for a bit. Or should I put it in the microwave? Is that is that okay? Is that normal? Hagen does. That's German, right? Hagen does. Hagen does. Oh, that shit smells so good. I'm gonna put this in the microwave. I don't give a crap. I don't give a rat's too. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I should not be doing that. Whatever. Oh. Oh my God. I just ate caca. Holy crap, these stupid socks. Ow. Oh my God, sugar. It's okay. It's okay, sugar came and checked on me. Oh my God. It's okay, mama. I'm okay. I'm okay. My knees hurt so bad, but I'm used to being on them. Just kidding. That was a joke. That was dirty. I'm sorry. I'm gonna get a scooper. I don't even think I have a scooper. Guys, I left my scooper at school in like sophomore year of high school. And I, I don't know if I have like one of those clicky ones. I haven't bought one since, I don't think. So I think I have a right, oh! Yo, maybe my mom bought it. This is usually the one I use. Look how like worn it is. This is insane. Okay, wait, that just made me feel better. I'm gonna run it under hot water. I'm getting some, I'm getting a lot. We eating good tonight, guys. I kinda like when it gets all melty. Oh yeah, three scoops. Mama don't play around with her ice cream. Ice cream! It's kind of melted. What the crap? Oh! I really hope no. Shit, shit. I feel like I can't do normal grown up activities and I don't, I don't get it. All right, I'm gonna get a spoon. I already get a mini spoon because I want it to last longer. You guys can go ahead and start asking me questions in the chat and I will love to answer some boy advice. Wait, let me take my first bite before I like start answering any, cause I've been craving ice cream all freaking day. Actually, since yesterday I wanted like Froyo. I was out with the um, suburb talks guys. I was out with Sean and Nick. I was like, oh, I want Froyo and then we never got Froyo. And I've been craving something sweet and cold ever since. Sweet and cold, like my heart, just kidding. Mmm. Oh, that shit's good. So the first question I'm gonna answer is tips on how to make a boy notice you more. Now, the first thing you wanna take a step back and ask yourself is why the fuck do you need his attention? That's my advice. Why do you want him to notice you more? You shouldn't feel like you need to go out of your way for someone to notice you. Am I guilty of it? Yeah. But I think you need to just be like, you know what? If he doesn't notice me the way I am, then it's not worth it. Don't change yourself. But if you guys, if you want like my advice on how to make him notice you more, you know, there's so many ways to go about it. Like maybe try and talk to him more or ask him about his interests. And I don't know, I try not to, I don't want a guy to notice me more. I th <laughs> like in, in my opinion, it's like, if he doesn't notice you the way you are, then it's not worth it. Don't change yourself. That's my opinion. Oh, how to know if a guy likes you. So my whole thing is when you know, you know. And if you feel like this guy's giving you mixed signals and you're asking yourself questions like, well, he did this, but like, does he even like me? If you're asking yourself, he doesn't. Or just assume he doesn't. He might, but assume he doesn't. How do you flirt with a guy without making it obvious? Maybe I'm not equipped to answer this one because for me, I'm really straightforward. If I'm flirting with a guy, I'm, I'll literally be like, you're so hot. <laughs> if I were to flirt with a guy and I didn't want to make it obvious, I would make eye contact with him, maybe compliment him, but not obviously like you're hot. Maybe like, oh, I like what you're wearing today. Or that just sounds like me when I talk to anyone though, because I'm a fucking flirt. Pay extra close attention to him. So it'd be like, oh, I like what you did with your hair today. Or if you feel like you changed something about himself, be like, oh, I like if you, you did this hairstyle today or touch him a little bit more. Obviously don't freaking harass him, but like, you know, like a little touch on the arm, something that wouldn't make someone uncomfortable or like a, a quick one, two, like a hug when you say hello. You know what I mean? Like maybe that is like a not obvious way to flirting for me. When I'm a flirt, I'm a flirt, I'm a flirt in general. So it's kind of hard for me to answer like how to not flirt obviously. Like, I don't know, I'm really obvious about my flirting. Like, I will say though, sometimes when I really like a guy, I can't flirt with them. So it just depends. I'm literally drinking soup. This is ice cream soup. So Simone, one of my mods said, situations are stupid hard. 
A situationship is always one-sided. One person always likes the person more than the other. If it's not a situationship, it's your dating or your friends with benefits. Someone asked me, how do you know if a guy's the one for you? In my opinion, you know a guy's the one for you, and you know if you wanna date them or be with them for a long time or forever, is when you guys are inseparable when you guys understand each other on a level other people don't. You guys don't get tired of each other. You love each other so deeply that nothing could ever get in between that. That's what I think. Oh, how can you tell if a guy is nice or flirting? For me, people always make the mistake of thinking I'm flirting with them, even if I'm just being nice. So that's a really good question. Um, some people are just natural flirts. So I think maybe you'll get the feel for it. You know, and hang out with them a little bit more. Maybe try not to get your heart crushed into little tiny pieces because, you know, like if someone's like flirting with you, they're probably complimenting you a lot. If someone's being nice to you, maybe they're just being kind. Unless they're bad at flirting. Maybe test the waters, you know, be like, oh, does this look good on me? I don't know. I don't know how to tell a guy if a guy's nice or flirting. I feel like it's pretty freaking obvious, right? Maybe I'm like so good at boy advice that I'm like not equipped to tell it. You guys always ask me for advice. So it's like, target me mindset? You guys want to target me mindset? I'm trying. I'm literally trying to like put you guys in my little brain and give you guys every advice I have, even if it's not good advice. Like I should give a fair warning. Do not take my advice if you don't want to. I'm not an advice queen, but you guys are literally swearing on my mindset. And if you guys want my mindset, I'll give it to you. Today, I went and got coffee and some really beautiful girl was making my drink and she wrote, Tara Yemi is a mindset, I love you. And I literally wanted to sob. I was like, there's no way she knows who I am, let alone is a fan. Like it was just the coolest thing ever. Ooh, what to do if my man hates my mom? Do you hate your mom? If you hate your mom, then I think it's okay. But if you don't hate your mom and he hates your mom, that's your mother. If she's being a good mom, then maybe boot him out of the way. How to reject a guy without being mean, someone asked. There's a nice way to go about things, right? Maybe say you're not looking for something right now. Be like, oh, that's so sweet and I'm so flattered, but I'm just really not looking for anything. That's always a good way to say it, right? Like, oh, it's really nice, but like, I'm just not looking for anything. You know, that makes him feel like he's not the problem and you're just not looking for anything. If a guy is coming on too strong after that, be like, hey, listen, man, like I was trying to be nice about it, but I'm just not interested. And if he takes it wrong, then that's his little peewee brain. And maybe he should have gotten the hints before that, right? So at that point, you can be mean. I'm drinking soup. How to slide into the DMs. Ooh, girl, you're brave. I would say slide up on a story. I would first like a story. And if they don't slide into your DMs, then afterwards, like a few days later, you can slide up on a story and be like, oh, this is cool. Or like, if you want to do it nonchalantly, you know what I mean? If you want to be like really like nonchalant about it. If you want to be forward, just literally just slide into the DMs. Be like, hi, with like a heart. That's what I would do. It's like, hi, <laughs> hi, heart. Boys are fucking stupid though. Boys are dumb. And I'm pissed. I actually wanted to do this stream because like men piss me off in a certain way that I don't even know how to explain how much men piss me off. Certain men are great. I, I have a lot of guy friends and I think the guys I do befriend are nice. But for me, men piss me off when they give you mixed signals and they just aren't straight to the point. Because personally, I'm a straight to the point kind of girl and a straight to the point kind of person. And I think people don't like, like I think problems happen in situationships and stuff like that when you guys don't communicate. For me, I yap all the time. So all I'm doing is communicating. This half-ass communications degree that I didn't finish, but I still am working on, is gonna get put to use, girl. Because I talk, 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 and I never stop. And because of that, I am so open and so honest, which can be a problem sometimes, and I'm so forward that I expect other people to be just as forward with me. And when people play games and fuck around is when I get angry and I'm gonna like men are stupid. If only men talked, and communicated, maybe they wouldn't be as dumb. And that's my advice on that. No one asked, but that's my unsolicited advice that I wanted to give. That's my yap of the day. Yap of the day, men are stupid. They wouldn't be if they communicated more. Guys, thank you so much for sticking around while I gave advice that no one asked about, uh, about boys. Just talked about boys for like a bunch of minutes straight and ate soup ice cream. Let me know what you guys wanna see on my live channel next. And if you guys aren't subscribed to my Twitch, or my second channel, or follow me on Twitch, you guys should go do that because why not, right? It is time to skedaddle. Thank you to the mods. Thank you to all the subs. I love you guys. Bye.